Hello everyone, Ross from Kelvin's Coin here. I'm getting a lot of YouTube comments about where to find fan-made maps, uh, the ones that I've been playing on the channel here. And I just wanted to show you where I get them and how to get them into your own game. So I use three websites. There's Age of Heroes, also known as heroesmightmagic.com, which you see right here. There's heroesportal.net, which you see right here. This website also has a Russian version. So if you speak Russian, um, if that's your native language, then that's really good for you. And then celestialheavens.com. Uh, uh, and I'm going to go through each one and uh, show you them and show you how to download them and what to do once you've downloaded the maps and how to get them playing. Let's look at uh, Age of Heroes first. You can see here that there is uh, content on this website for all the Heroes games. And that's true across all of these websites here. See all these different versions of the games. Um, Here's my magic. There's a list of games right here. Uh, also doing the uh, King's Bounty games, Dark Messiah, Heroes Online. Like, There's a lot of stuff on here. There are some... As I'll show you, there are some uh, repeat maps on them, but there's enough unique content on each website to use all three of them uh, effectively um, to unlock hours and hours of extra gameplay. So if we click here on Heroes 2, um, what you want to do is, and I usually play Heroes 2, so I'm going to use this as the example. You want to go to Main Page and the drop down Map Downloads. Here we go. This website sorts all the maps by size. Each page has six maps. You have two pages of small maps, four pages of medium maps, four pages of large maps, and five pages of extra large maps, right? So clicking on any one of these links here will download the map. Go to large page three. I'm going to try and download Knight's Attack here. I've already downloaded this. I have before. Um, but you can just have your PC keep the file. There's nothing malicious on these sites. I trust them completely. Now let's download a map off heroesportal.net. So we have a lot of uh, filters here. Um, you can just sort it by the original version of Heroes 3 or Heroes 2 or Heroes 1 or Heroes 4, whatever you want. Or you can just click on the generic one to get both the base game and the expansion map, maps that are made for both of them. Um, all sizes of maps. Usually only play English maps because I'm American. Teams, you know, I usually only play with like one human and no teams because I don't have any friends. <laughs> whatever, once you hit apply, you'll whittle down the number of maps to 4,679 to however many they have. 294, look at this. Sands of Fire. This looks like fun. I'm going to download that. I don't think I've ever played it. Click on Sands of Fire, and from here, there's a download button. Boom. There we have it. Sands of Fire downloading right now. So it creates a zip file. I'll show you what to do with the zip files once you've downloaded. But the download process for each of these is the same. It'll just create a zip file for each of these, um, and then we can work with those from there. Here's Celestial Heavens. I already have it on Heroes Might Magic 2. The pages are here, which is kind of awkward. But these are the um, base game maps. We're on page one of that. Price of Loyalty has five pages. But once again, um, you can just click on one of these and it'll download it. Click on one of the images here. Uh, like, for instance, I don't believe I've ever downloaded Bandit's Domain. Boom, there it is, Bandit's Domain.zip. There we go. I should note at this point that there are repeat maps. And like Art of Warfare, for instance, is here on Celestial Heavens. And if we go back to. Um, Age of Heroes here, you can see Art of Warfare by David Burke right there. Uh, but there's enough unique maps on each website to use all three of them effectively to unlock hours of new gameplay. So now once we have our zip folders downloaded, I will show you what to do with them. What we want to do is we want to open our downloads. So here we have a window with all of our downloads here. We can see Bandit's Domain, Sands of Fire, etc. I recommend buying Heroes of Might Magic 2 off GOG for the base game. So what we want to do is click on this icon here, click on Manage Installation, Show folder, and the folder we're looking for is the maps folder, which is find you can, you can find it right here. Double click on that, and you have um, files for uh, all the maps that are in the game. Now we want to open our downloads again, so we have a window for our downloads. To get Bandit's domain into our game, we want to double click the uh, the zip file here. There's an MP3 file right there. So if the game is part of the base game, it's an MP3 file. If it's an expansion map, it's a .mx2 file. Whatever file it is, you just want to drag it into your maps folder. And that's it. The next time you boot up the game, you're going to see a Bandits map under standard games. We got the Bandits file right over here. I have an icon on my desktop for F Heroes 2. Uh, you just right click it and say open file location, or you can just find it in your directory um, and whatever drive you have it in. Same thing. There's a maps folder right here. Drag and drop the file in there. Boom, next time I boot up, yep, continue. Next time I boot up uh, the F Heroes 2, I'm going to see the Bandits uh, map 
right there. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to open it right now. F Heroes 2 just booted up. I'm going to click on New Game, Standard Game, and then uh, the F Heroes 2, they put all the, the expansion and the base game maps all in one go. We're going to find Bandits. Bandit Domain, there it is. Bandits of Pirates steal with impunity in this land once ruled by a Lich. Find the Lich's lair and the Pirate's treasure to beat your enemies. Heck yeah. I can jump right in and play this wonderful map on Impossible. So there you have it. I hope this helps. Uh, so it's uh, Age of Heroes slash Heroes of Might Magic dot uh, com, Heroes Portal dot net, and Celestial Heavens is where you can find these fan made maps. Download those MP3 and .mx2 files, drag them into your maps folder, boot up the game, and have some fun. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin. I hope this video helps. Hit that subscribe button for future episodes because more are coming your way. And I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Peace.